Hello everyone, I'm Danung D, Twitch streamer, gamer, content creator on YouTube. And for the past two years, I have been testing a lot of things for my streams to make it successful. So today I want to talk about the sound quality, which is one of the most essential parts of your streams and videos. As you may know, I have been using Dragonfly XLR microphone for more than one year, not only for my streams, but also for the filmmaking. For example, I did use it for my voiceover in the cinematic trailer about me joining TSM. So click here if you want to see full trailer and all I can tell, this is one of the best professional microphones I have ever used for any type of production. I'm a huge fan of blue classic designs and most important, they always use the best material for their products. All their microphones are pretty heavy and solid and this is how it should be when you pay the price. But my opinion that Blue Dragonfly is a huge investment. It costs 1000 US dollars. And if you want to use it properly, you might need a good audio interface, which will gonna cost you extra money, starting from 200 to 800 US dollars. So in total, it's a huge investment, but it's definitely worth it if you are planning to make a professional content. But today I did receive my first Blue Jetty X professional USB microphone, which costs 180 US dollars, and you don't even need any audio interfaces. It has tons of features, which I even couldn't imagine before. So it may be the best solution for most of us, streamers, gamers, content creators, and even music makers. So let's make a review of this microphone and then compare sound quality side by side with my Dragonfly microphone. All the sounds that you're gonna hear gonna be in RAW, I won't gonna tweak anything and also you're gonna be able to download the samples in the link below. So now you're hearing my voice from the Blue Jetty X microphone. This microphone has four different kind of pickup patterns. Currently I'm using the cardioid pattern, which I think is the best option for the streamers because it catches only your voice and nothing else. As you may see, I'm using keyboard right now and you can barely hear it because the microphone is catching only front side. Now let's change to the next setting, which is bidirectional pattern. And if I were gonna use my keyboard right now, you're gonna hear it very loud. It is because microphone is working from the front side and from the opposite side too, which is really good for the podcast when you are making a conversation with your guest. Now let's change to the next option, which is stereo. As you may know, stereo is dedicated to vocal, instrument recording, singing and music making in general. I don't know, do you hear the big difference, but it separates channels in the different levels. And the last setting is Omni, which means it will gonna pick up the sound from all the directions. You can hear everything from the left and right. And once again, if we're gonna test the keyboard, you can hear it very properly. It is really useful for the ambient recording or for the round table if you're having a conversation with a lot of people. Now let's switch back to the setting cardioid. As you noticed, I was recording this video in the open room with a lot of background noises. But I want to test these two microphones in the sound isolated boot. And you're going to be able to download RAW files in the link below. So now I'm testing Blue Dragonfly microphone and you can download the raw files in the description area. So now I'm testing Blue Jetty X microphone and you can download the raw files in the description area. So my conclusion, this microphone is the most valuable microphone in this price range. It has a lot of features, the professional sound quality and it has no cheap plastic. Also, I forgot to mention that this microphone is working with the Logitech G-Hub software where you can adjust RGB and sound equalizer settings. And the last and most fun part of this video is the giveaway of the Blue Jetty X microphone for you. All you need to do is comment down below the video what would be the best new feature for the next Blue Microphone series. I hope this video was useful and see you next time!